Hey everybody, welcome in. I'm Jess. It's Friday. And it is time for part two of my Steam game that I'm playing today called Theophil, short for Theophilus. Uh, I kind of got stuck last week on some jumps of doom, but I will say I successfully jumped over the jumps of doom uh, offline, <laughs> off stream. <laughs> So, uh, I will start right on the other side of the jumps, so I didn't go too far. But, uh, welcome in Panda, and anyone else that's lurking and working right now. Uh, hello, hello, I see Opcost is here, Opcost Games, thank you so much for joining. Hello, Board Game Bree, uh, and anyone else that's just hanging out today. Uh, yeah, so, so far this... This game is pretty interesting. We're on a mission. There are 12 little like scrolls that we're trying to collect for this storyline. And we got six out of the 12 last week. So I'm hoping I can complete it, complete the uh, storyline so you all can see what this is about. Um, I know some folks were like, man, this graphics are terrible. I will say that I am running on kind of a lower end of graphics just because I don't really trust my computer to uh, uh, be excelling on graphics. So even though I have an, a graphics card in there. Uh, so if you do decide to play this game, highly recommend it. If you have the capacity on your computer to play it at a higher graphics, probably play it at higher graphics. Hello, Phantom. Welcome in. It's Friday. So yeah, it has been quite the day uh, so far. Like I said, I attempted offline to try to jump over the jumps of doom and I was successful. So I think it cost, I think it came down to like last week while I wasn't able to do it was because my fingers were probably getting tired. So because I just started off on that section, I think I was like more ready with, uh, with my hitting of the, the jump button and things like that. So, yeah. All right. Uh, and I, I saw Panda on Steam that you added this to your wish list. So uh, if you don't want to watch this, because there are going to be spoilers, um, I totally understand if you have to lurk. But uh, I do enjoy it. It is quite, it's nice. It's not anything super crazy. Um as far as like intensity goes. Sorry, I'm just turning down my microphone just a tad because I feel like I'm gonna get more animated <laughs> as I play this game. So preparing for that. Um, and granted, I'm terrible at these kind of games. Like it definitely gave me like Zelda vibes and I am still playing um, Zelda Link's Awakening, the reboot on Switch right now, and I have I have still haven't defeated it. I know for some of you purists, you're probably like, what? How, how have you not completed it? Well, it's like I like to take my time, and I don't race through a video game. I like to, you know, explore and see all the possible options and die a lot. So, <laughs> and another cool thing, friends, is apparently I have a sound now on this game. So let me know, friends, how that volume is. If it's too loud, I can definitely turn it down. It's not a problem. Yeah, how dare I enjoy a video game, right? How dare I? But you should be hearing some, like, gentle guitar right now, um, if it's coming through. Because I could hear it in my headphones. So, it allows me to think that you can hear it. Sounds good on this end. Alright, thank you, Phantom. So yeah, friends, I will show you. So, here I am. So this was the jumps. Those are the jumps of doom. I'm not gonna fall over because I'm not, I'm not silly like that. So, this was the platform that I landed on here. So what we see some we see some minions there in the uppers, in the uppers, and I just have to remember I have to attack. Okay, all right. So 
What I'm trying to do also is I'm trying to see if there is a save spot somewhere. Because I don't want to do those jumps of doom again. Okay. I don't want to do those jumps of doom again. Ah, but there's another guy right there. Okay, he's coming after me. Ah, he got me. Dang it. And But there's another scroll piece. So, ah, snap. See, that's the that's the hard thing. Is now I gotta do these jumps of doom again. And I wished... A, I wish Theophilus was a little bit better at fighting. And B, I wish I was better at these jumping parts. So I wouldn't have to die and try to respawn myself every time. Ah, Theophilus. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm just gonna go in here. Because that was just bad. That was just bad. <laughs> okay. See? And I don't... I, this is the whole reason. I did not want to get stuck on this part. But here I am getting stuck on this part again. Exactly right, Panda. Good grief. Good grief. Nope. Oh, good grief. Exactly right, Phantom. Exactly right. Thank you, Panda. I appreciate that. Um. Oh, I should move my mouse out of the way, because you don't want me to see this big old mouse in the way. Hi, TNG. Happy Friday. Uh... How was your week, my dear? It's been a while since I've seen you. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll go slowly around these spikes, Theo. Okay. Slowly. Last day of jury duty. Oh, that's right. Ugh. Well, I hope you don't have to go back. Yeah, congratulations. Watch me uh, attempt these jumps of doom. Ah, dang it. Okay. No more jury duty. I know. I've had to be, uh, I had to do jury duty a couple times. And it was quite boring. Like, while you're waiting to be put on a trial and stuff, you just sit there. And you can't use any electronics. You have to, like, bring a book. So, like, I couldn't even, like, check emails and stuff. Whoa. Okay. Ah, those spikes. Okay. So... Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. See, the hard thing is, is that he's so direct in his lining that I have to, like, line it up just right or I won't make it. There we go. All right. Come on, Theo! Yes! Come on, Theo! Yes! Don't fall off! Oh, my goodness. Oh! oh! <laughs> no! Take care of some tax stuff. You do you, Tan! You do you, Tan. I know. Gotta go back. You know what? I'm just gonna go, uh, 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 standing in the spikes. Because I feel like if I don't have full, if I don't have full life, full health on this, then I'm never gonna, like, make it past all those minions. So, yeah, eat your breakfast, Panda. We don't want an angry and hungry panda on our hands here. Okay. Away from those spikes. Oh my goodness, Theo. My goodness. Okay. 
Yeah, what is for breakfast, Panda? Let us know. If you need some suggestions, I'm sure the chat would help. Okay, I'm clear. I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm clear. Thank you, Tanji. Appreciate that. Okay. See, friends, I did not want to get stuck on this part. You're having Chipotle right now. Oh, that's right, Tanji. You're on the East Coast. Because I was like, dang, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and you're having Chipotle? <laughs> Nice, Tangi, nice. All right, we made it. We made it, y'all. And I have full life. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go and try to hit these dudes. Hello? Oh, they're coming unawares. Oh, coming unawares. Whoa. Whoa, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Ah! It's always time for a burrito. Dang it. See, this is not, this is the part that I did not want to get stuck on. Because you as the viewing audience are getting probably tired of me doing the same section all the time. I mean, it wouldn't be fun, right? Y'all need to see how the storyline progresses. I all need to see Theo fight on Satan. Ah! I was going too fast. I was going too fast. I did not take my time. I was going too fast. Uh, one thing I do like about this game is that you apparently have unlimited lives. Because <laughs> I, like, could definitely just respawn and not worry about stuff. Okay. 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 Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Duchess with the raid. Hi, Duchess. Welcome in, raiders. So nice of you to uh, join us. Hello, Corthane. Uh, if someone could give a shout out to the beautiful Duchess, I would appreciate that. Welcome in, Raiders. My name's Jess. I am a board game Twitch streamer here. Uh, I stream three days a week, and I often do occasional board game adjacent stuff. Like today, I am playing this video game called Theophil, short for Theophilus. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you all are doing okie doke today. Uh, all right, I got my I got my my staff at the ready. Yeah. Take that dude out. All right, hold on. Is there a safe point somewhere here? Whoa! Did y'all see that? That's There's fire over there. Student free day. Nice. All right, I need some health potion. Yeah, give me that health potion. Hey, 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 come here. Come here. Away from the health potion, dude. Away from the health potion. All right, here we go. And yeah. Ah! Darn it. Okay, and another cool thing about it is as soon as you defeat a minion, they don't respawn. So... Okay, so because, because I defeated those other two minions, they don't respawn. 
But the difficult thing is, is I wish I had a save point. So I don't have to do these stupid jumps of doom again. They're not stupid. It's it's definitely just part of the game. Ugh, it's just frustrating when you have to like a difficult part that you have to just go through and do all over again. Thank you, Theo. All right. So y'all, if you have just come in from Duchess's Raid, I often stream board games here on the channel. Except for the occasional video game and the occasional crafting stream. This game is called Theophil. It's on Steam. It's a one-person adventure game. And let me tell you the story so far that we have collected. So, once upon a time, there was a fallen angel whose name was Lucifer. Or Satan. Or whoever you want to call him. He saw a beautiful church on a hill and wanted to destroy it. But then, out of the doorways of the church comes Theophilus, swinging his mighty staff, and he is on a mission to track down Satan and take him out. Hello, Corthane. We are currently getting the TLN newsletter set up. Thank you for uh, letting us know on that. Hold on. I'll put that in there. Um, I want to say right now, we are in the process of getting it set up. So I would say check back in like a week or so because we're going to get like a setup button done. Uh, so you all can just, you know, click on the TLN website and be like, sign up for the newsletter. But we haven't had it activated yet. So we're hoping to get that done within the next week or so. So I will say, if you want to uh, join us, yeah, stick around. It is coming soon, but I appreciate it. The reason that uh, the newsletter is on pause right now is because we're currently getting things sorted for the TLN Twitch channel. That's right, friends. TLN is happening this weekend, and we are in the process of getting things ready for the TLN specific Twitch channel where you can catch the pre-shows and learn all about what's happening for TLN. And then on the in-between times, uh, there will be some fun little uh, little events that will be happening specifically on the TLN Twitch channel. We're thinking about doing uh, some board, board game like tournaments. Uh, we're thinking about doing some Q&A sessions with some folks even doing some um, like game show kind of things. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be happening with the TLN Twitch channel. So thank you for giving that shout out. Um, so be sure to make sure you're getting all of your things sorted. Uh, we are getting all of our things sorted, not you. We are getting all of our things sorted. So you can see Oh, I don't need that right now. Uh, so you can see what's coming up from the TLN Twitch. But yes, the newsletter is going to share all of that stuff. And it will be fantastic once we can allow folks to get in on the goodies that are happening. So, all right. I got the next piece here. So, there we go. Once upon a time, fallen angel, Lucifer, church on a hill, wanted to destroy, Theophilus comes to save the day, he's tracking it down, and he has found the key, maybe to Satan's lair? Maybe that's what it is? He's, he's spying Satan's lair over here? I don't know. I would really like a save point, everybody. So if somebody could find me a save point, I would be forever grateful. Ah! Oh, I was pushing the wrong button like a goober. Oh, jeez. There we go. There we go. Like a goober. Okay. Where is the save point? Can I get this tree? So this looks like a little hideout here.
Nope, can't do anything there. Ugh. I would really like a save point right about now. And there's fire! Sweet. Is it timed? Yes, of course it's timed. I know, right? Thank you, Phantom. I would really like a save point right now, but I fear it's on the other side of these flames. <sighs> I fear the worst. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. You only have three seconds. Okay. Oh my goodness. How the heck am I supposed to get through all that? Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh my gosh, where's the save point? Yes! There's a save point! Huh? Thank you, Phantom! That save point came through. Okay, so I have to do this button. This is my delay. Okay. Is there more health potions in here? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Theo. Saving the day. Saving the day. Okay. So, he's finding these secret layers. And more of these gems. Which I have no idea what these gems are for. Okay. This is like his, like, campsite? Like, what is going on? Hi, Timey. Okay. Oh, there's a golem! I just ran right into him like a goober. Oh, jeez. Run away from the golem! Uh, you know what? Yeah! Took him out on my way down. But you know what? My game is saved! The game is saved. Thanks to this save point over here. Alright, so I can't go inside any of these hideouts. Alright, so we got a golem. Okay. So, oh no, it's our favorite, these spiky deals. Okay, so they go pretty much at the same clip. Oh, snap. But I want to go in an open spot, so there's not... Okay. And... Oh, no, 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 no! Ugh! There's a lot of spikes over here. Okay. There's a lot of spikes happening. Hmm. There's gotta be, like, a timing thing. I can't just, like, brute force it, right? Ah! 
That was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, so I can't stop in between them. That's good to know. Okay, let's do this, Theo. Let's do this! Let's go, Theo. I'm just making up a song because that's what I do. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. You know what? Whoa. Well, I made it. Okay. Oh, snap. I'm getting bombarded here. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I got to run! Oh. Are you, are you gonna chase me up here? You are gonna chase me up here. That's alright. Higher ground, y'all. Higher ground. Ah! Dang it. Dang it! Okay, so now I gotta go through... Da 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 Okay. Wait. Whoa. Oh, that was dumb. Ah, that was dumb! <laughs> I just kept going back into it! Ah! Uh. Okay, okay. I can do this, y'all. Just gotta shake it out. <laughs> this is my improvised wiggle dance. Okay. Dang it. I was going too slow. I got it now. I got it. Gotta make sure they're both coming at the same time. There we go. Wait. Jump. Wait. What? How did I get that guy? Ugh. Okay, now I gotta just try to take out these mamma jammas. Thank you. There was a second one. Wasn't there a second one? Or did I take him out? Ooh, what is this? A giant anchor. Uh, I gotta run into open ground. Follow me. Follow me, dude. Open ground. I gotta level the playing field now. Ah! 
He like hits me once and I'm dead? That's not cool. Ugh. I don't know what that anchor was for. I was just walking. I wasn't jumping. Uh, all right. I am determined to finish this game, y'all. I am determined to finish this game. That's true. That's true, Phantom. Nope, that wasn't. Ah! Ah! Okay. Yeah, now I know what to do. I was just going too slow. lost half my life. Nothing over here. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge over here. Oh, is this a safe point? Oh, good gravy. Tell me there's a safe point over here. This looks like a skeleton of some kind. What gravy? What is over here? I'm so nervous. There's no save point over here? Oh no. Ah! Run! Ah. And there's a golem! Ah! <laughs> no, I need to jump on this thing. I need to get up here. Oh, come on! I'm running away. Like a little girl. Ah. I need to find a safe point. Oh, good gravy. Y'all are just gonna have to chase me. Are you for reals? They're seriously? Ah! Where do I go? Where do I go? The game is cheating. <laughs> Thank you, Phantom. I don't know where to go. Just a stinking gem? Are you kidding me? Oh, I see what I have to do. So don't go that way. I'm always precarious when it comes to bridges. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I like gravitate towards the edges whenever I play anything. 
like one person things, I always end up just going for, okay, now that, that leads me nowhere. Oh, Theo. Okay, he can't get me up here. I just jumped right into his rock. Are you for reals? Theo, that was not what you were supposed to do, dude. There we go. Okay, so that does that. Okay. So now I'm going this way. I'm gonna do all this work and I need to find some more health potion and a save point. I'm just zigging and zagging up this bridge, y'all. Zagging and zagging. If any of you are watching this to, like, try to get tips, uh, this is how not to play video games. See, I'm a board game streamer. I'm not a video game streamer. I do, I do love myself some board games. Uh, some video games, I mean. But... I am not, I would not say I'm a video game streamer by any means. What is up here? What is in here? Some kind of wreckage? Oh, good gravy. I'm just in some kind of like, looks like a shipwreck of some kind. <gasps> there's a save point! Oh, there's a save point! Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I feel better about myself now. Lost Kickstarter containers. <laughs> oh, and friends, this is not Chill Hop. This is actually the game music. But I do recommend listening to some Chill Hop if you are playing games. It's very nice instrumental stuff. And another stinking gem. I hope I can, like, do some with these gems. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with these gems. Whoa. What are these things? Oh, no, another golem. It really isn't a buggy game. I'm just playing terribly. I'm sure if you played with higher graphics, this would be a fantastic game. But happy Friday, Gameritis. Ah, I just got taken out by a rock. Stinking golem. Stinking golem. Okay, I'm at some kind of shipwreck. I don't know why. Uh-huh. It's interesting. Interesting temple pieces. What? No. Hey! Hey, you know what? Come, come back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. Now I'm, I'm in desperate need of a health potion. Ugh. Come on now. But, Gameritis, you see I've made progress. I have made progress today. So, where do I go from here?
Hmm. It's got these weird, like, temple pieces. Okay. I seem to be blocked somehow. So, there's something up here that I'm supposed to go to? No? Where is this? Hmm, am I supposed to jump up there? <laughs> do, 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 do. Right? Right? I don't know. Am I supposed to jump over here? Oh. Okay. So I did make it to there. No, I don't get... Oh! <laughs> Missed the giant ramp, Jess. Oh my goodness. So funny. Okay. This doesn't look scary at all! Being in this giant temple. Okay. Gotta just follow the blades around. Oh no! A health potion? It's not! It's a stinking gem! Dag nabbit, I swear. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Okay, so we're going up into this temple thing. Got it. And I'm not going that way. Are you a health potion? No. I know. I know, Gameritis. I know. Whoa. Nope. Now go. What is in here? It's just a big old empty room. Seriously? Oh, there's another ramp. Okay. Goodness me, everybody. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, hold on a second. There's not just random placement of these of these red like platforms here. Oh my goodness me. That was too funny. How about death? That's what it's saying. Oh, I don't want to go that far. Oh. 
Okay, so what is the goal here, everybody? Jump on the platforms. Platforms are safe. It's like the ground is lava. Oh, I've got some more. Oh, please. For the love of Pete, give me a health potion. Oh, I don't need a health potion now. I don't need a health potion now, you butts. Uh... Don't need a health potion now, you butts. Great. So that was a dead end. Let's just follow the blades. Let's just follow the blades. Ah! You butts. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Oh, good grief. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling that sound alert is going to get a lot of gameplay today. Okay. So let's kind of go down this way. And this is a dead end. All right. Remember that, everybody. Hey, I found another piece of map. All right, let's see what it says. <laughs> no, I really want you all to like this game. Um, okay, so, sorry. I gotta start from the beginning. Sorry, sorry, sorry! I gotta, I gotta read you the story. I'm sorry. Okay, once upon a time, there was a fallen angel whose name was Lucifer. He saw a church on a hill and wanted to destroy it. But out of the pearly gates of the doorway came Theophilus with his staff in hand. He sought to track down Satan and save the world. He saw a pathway leading to Satan's lair. And there he actually found Satan. Uh-oh. Okay. Where's that health potion when I need it? Oh, good gravy. What did I do? What did I do? Dang it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is there anywhere else in this that I haven't checked yet? Okay, so I went that way. What? That was dumb. Okay, I went up. There's nothing there. So now I need to go to... I need to go to the right. Dang it. Ah! How am I supposed to jump from over there? Okay. Okay. So I need to go to the right now. I don't think there was anything to the left. Oh, a wall. Okay. Okay, so I already went through here. Look at you jump there. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Theo... Now I need to go get that health potion. Now I need that health potion, you butt. Dang it. 
Ah! <laughs> I understood. I understood, Gameritis. No worries. Okay. Gotta wait for the timing. Now go. Well, I don't need the health potion now. And we already went... Did we go this way? No, we didn't go this way. <laughs> I'm just really bad at jumping. Ah, come on now. What? What 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 happened? <laughs> yeah, I need some encouragement in the chat, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Gameritis. <laughs> you can do it, but also good green. Uh, too funny. Dumb. Ah, that was so dumb. I got farther that time. Definitely got farther that time. Jeeps, there is no way. Oh, that's a wall. That's why. <laughs> I know. But maybe Theo's got like this, like some kind of bubble around him. This imaginary bubble that we can't see. Oh, that was dumb. I'm just gonna... Oh. 
No! The health potion was right there! Ugh. Good grief, everybody. Oh, good grief. Yeah, thank you. Yep, just gonna take that hit. Because you know what? It's being a butt, everyone. Because I accidentally went the wrong way last time. It's dumb. That was dumb. Uh, that was my fault. Oh, good grief. Hi, Tom. Yes, all the butts. All the butt. Hope you're having a good Friday, Tom. Good to see ya. Welcome to me being terrible at video games. Oh, good gravy. Nope, 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 nope. Wait. Gotta wait for the blade to go around. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it, granted it is frustrating, but that's kind of what happens in video games for me. Uh, yeah. It's, I'm determined, I'm 8 of 12 for the storyline here, so it's like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be redemption at the end of this game, I mean. Theo's on search for Satan, so, there's gotta be something happening here. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. And jump. Now I'm going to the right, friends. Remember, I'm going to the right. You missed me dying a lot, Tan. But I did get another piece of the puzzle. Okay, wait a second. Am I not going the right way? I'm not going the right way. I need to go back. Oh, that was dumb of me. Dang it. Oh, I need to go down this way. That's right. Uh, that was definitely a wall. Yes. Thank you, Phantom. Oh, good gravy. What in the world? I went down the wrong pathway and I like lost half my life like a doofus. Uh. Okay. Fine. It's fine. Theo, you butt. Let's go. <laughs> you deserve that, Theo. You jumped into the wall. Ugh. Okay. Game Ritus, that was very kind of you to say. All right. So we know we have to go through this doorway, right? We're going through this doorway. Yes, I did. And I still do like escape rooms, Tan. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do like me some escape rooms. <laughs> Y'all are too kind. You don't, seriously, you don't have to. Oh, too kind. Oh, that was dumb. Come on now. Okay, I have more than half my life now, Theo. Don't screw this up for me. That was totally... What? <sighs> <laughs> Thank you, Phantom. 
Oh, come on now. I want to make this entertaining for the friends at home, Theo. You're not making this entertaining if you keep dying all the time. <laughs> I know, right? Come on now. Ah. Uh. All right. <laughs> okay. I hit those blades. Uh, did you not see the progress I was doing, Theo? Did you not see my progress here? Uh, Tan, you're sending me something in my inbox. I see it. I have not opened it yet. Thank you, Tan. Thank you, Tan. Did you see how quickly I made it through that segment, y'all? Like, what the hey? Yeah. In the words of Mother, Th Mother Theophil, you don't hit blades. Blades hit you. But it's like, for reals now. For reals. For reals. For reals now, Theo. Let's do this. You butt. Come on. <laughs> In a sense, yes. Oh, no! Theo. Oh, Theo. Oh, Theo. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, I cannot believe that! I had full life, y'all! Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. Panda, if you do decide to play this game, I hope you die just as many times as I have. That'll make me feel better. <laughs> and I say that lovingly, Panda. Because this game, man... This game, man. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, Joe, you would do so much better than me. Oh. Oh, my word. I'm not even playing this on a game controller. I'm just doing my normal keyboard here. But friends, the more and more I'm like playing this section, the more I feel like I'm getting faster at it. Have you noticed that? So it's like, look at this. Bam, I'm like zooming through this. Yes, yes, I do have the diagonal abilities, Gameritis. Yeah. That was dumb. Yeah, I do have the ability to go diagonal. Ah, come on now. No!
Yeah, there was the ability for me to do that. You would think. You would think, Gameritis. It's like just out of my reach, I feel like. Gotta shake it out. Getting a little tense in here. Gotta shake it out. Is there a health potion? For the love of Pete, are you serious? Health potion! Yes! Health potion! Yes! That's funny how there's two health potions because they knew people would be terrible at that part of the game. Okay. Now where is my dang save point? Where is my dang save point? all this creepiness. Hi, EC. Come to watch me play terribly at a video game? Okay. There's something on that platform and I don't like it. Oh. oh! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god, she's flaming things at me! I no. Ah, oh, there was no oh, chance. There was absolutely no chance. Y'all, there was no save point either. Okay, so we have to strategize here. We'll have to strategize, right? We'll have to do some evasive maneuvers. Happy Friday, EC. Hope you're doing good. Ah, dang it. I'm missing my opening here. There we go. I mean, that's the game. That's the game, Gameritis. Ah, you butt, Theo. That was poor. That was poor. You deserve that. I'm sorry. It's not me. It's not me, y'all. No, I ain't gonna take it. I ain't gonna take that reroll. <laughs> oh, thank you, EC. Can you say destrozada? That means wrecked in Spanish. Yeah, I am getting wrecked in this game. Oh, Theo. No, 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 no. We're gonna restart. This is dumb. This is dumb, Theo. That was 
Yeah, no, no, no. We are not gonna lose our lives because of some slow spinning blades. No, thank you. I appreciate the biddies, EC. Thank you. I am not losing health on some stupid blades here. Ah! Nope. Do it again. We're doing this again. We are doing this again, Theophilus. We are doing this again. Yeah. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Right? <laughs> At least the music does work this time, though, Gameritis, because it wasn't working last time I was playing this, so... We've got something fixed. It's not really motivating, I know, right? Whoa. I was running away from it. All right, come on, Theo. <clears throat> if anything smacks you around that much, that's your daddy now. I'm telling you, EC, this game is not forgiving at all. You have to be, like, just slightly above a mile away from anything in order to not get take damage. Like this. That, that was done. I don't know why I stopped, because I was, like, in mid-sentence, it sounds like. And I already lost half my health. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> I was just speed running it now. Y'all are so patient with me. Watching me die several times. Ugh, but I feel like I was getting progress. I was making progress. I was doing really well in these spinning blades of death. And now, for some reason, they are just, like, cursing me. See? Look at that! I wasn't even close to it, and then it just wiped out a quarter of my health. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. Is that how much it is now on Steam? Phantom? It was only three bucks. $2.99. Killing Mario's? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I need a hero. Da 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 He's gotta be cool, and he's gotta be brave, and he's gotta like kicking some blades in their face. I need a hero. One whose name is not Theophilus, cause he's a butt. Oh, you deserve that, Theo. You deserve that, Theo! Dag nabbit. Yeah, there's, like, no save point either. So, I'm gonna get, like, smooshed by the boss here. Okay. 
Can I not lose lives around these blades? That would be super swell. Thanks. Can we just not, everybody? I totally was getting too jump happy. Too jump happy. Okay, so if I make it to that boss, I'm saying if, not necessarily when, because I feel like my hands are getting a little fatigued. I'm going to have to do some evasive maneuvers around him. Because he's got those, like, fireball things that he's throwing. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm going to give this another, like, 10 minutes. And for the sake of y'all's watching, I'm going to switch to something else. Because I think... This is just not going my way today.
Theo. That was a poor jump. See, I made it. I made it to that section. Yeah, the only, yeah, the bummer part is, is that there is no save point. Probably until after you beat that boss. Oh, that was dumb. Just going into the line of fire. <laughs> oh, I want you all to see. I want you all to see past this section. And it would help if I play better. But you know, like I said, I occasionally dabble in video games, so this is not... How the heck? Uh, I don't know how the heck I did that. That was dumb. <laughs> how the heck did I do that? See, now I'm doing worse, which leads me to believe that this is the point of the game where I was with jumping over the spike thing. Where, like, I feel like my hands have, like, a good, like, 90 minutes, and then they're like, okay, we're done. Which is probably good for, like, self-care and stuff, too. You know? Probably good for some self-care time. Oh, that was dumb. What? It's like hitting me in the bum right as I'm jumping over them. That's not cool. Yeah. Okay. Last attempt, and then I'm going to switch games. See if I can go past this level here. <laughs> right? I was like totally jumping over them and then they're like, spikes in your bum. Take that. It's like, what? Phantom, if you do play this game and you beat it, I will be so proud. Oh, come on now. Nope. That's it. Okay, friends. I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to play something else real quick. So let me switch over here. Theo is just being a little pill again today. So what shall we play to pass the time? How about we play? How about we play a little bit? of Ooh, let's do some Takedo, shall we? It's a nice 
relaxing game to end out the stream today. I will be on later on Panda's channel later on tonight. I think we're going to be playing some more Fork uh, from Tate Wu. It's coming to crowdfunding soon. So I hope you can join us for that, everyone. All right, let's see. Let me see, making sure I got this view. Make it switch this up. Will it allow, let me do this? You hear it, everybody, right? You all hear it? Let's see. Do, do, do. going to see if I can get this to Kaido here. Hmm, why wouldn't it let me do the Steam screen? You should be able to. Um, come on, Steam. Should be able to do a Steam screen here. Okay. Should be able to... Let's see. What if I changed it? Hmm. Let's see. Play now. Maybe I just had to restart it. Let's see. Uh, can I do, is it a browser capture? 
Display capture. All right, let's see if this works. Now, does this work if I do this? Let's see. If I switched it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I know it's kind of giant. But you should be able to see everything. Okay, let's go. Let's do this thing. Choose my traveler. Yay! All right, I always like being Hirotada. He's a grumpy old man, but he does a lot of good things in the temple. So, and then we've got Kinko. Kinko, you will see, each, merch, perch, each meal purchased by Kinko will cost one coin less. So they get a discount on... Uh, meals at the inn. And then we've got Umege. Umege starts with one additional point and one additional coin when she has an encounter. So she wants to go to all those pink spaces. Uh, my special ability is each time Hirotada stops at the temple, an additional coin is added free of charge to his donation, which also earns him an additional point. And then we've got Chubei. Chubei, whenever he arrives at each of the three intermediate inns, he meets someone before choosing his meal. So he has an encounter. So he goes to a pink space before encountering. All right. So let us do the temple. So I get it for free. Stop at the temple. Earn a free coin. There we go. And you know what? I have eight coins. So I'm just going to toss everything in. And be ahead of the game here, friends. Hi, Wim. Oh, let me change. Let me change the stream info because now I am playing Tokaido on Steam. There we go. Welcome in, Wim. Uh, I got a little bit farther in my Theophilus game. But then I got stuck in, like, a palace area, so was not able to uh, get past it. I was dying a lot, so I thought, you know what? I am just going to uh, call it a day on that and then end the stream with some Takedo. Nice and relaxing. All right, so I think I'm going to go to the bath. Very true, Game Right. It's very true. Oh, I got monkeys. Got an extra point there. Y'all, if you haven't played Takedo, I highly recommend getting this, the app. Um, either on Steam or on mobile. Because the graphics are just really, really pretty. And it's just a nice, light game that you can play in like 20 minutes. So... Oh, look, am I going to get some coins or am I going to go shopping? I think, I think I'm going to get some, I'm not going to go shopping. I'm going to see what happens if I go shopping in the temple or in the gift shop, I mean. Uh, okay, so there's four different types of souvenirs you can collect. If you collect more uh, uh, unique items to complete your sets, you get more victory points. So I'm going to take this for one part of the set and this one for the second part of my set. 
That is true. That is very true. So yes, I have this on Steam as well as on the mobile app. Um, but it's fun because you could do a pass and play if you have somebody uh, in the room with you. Just take a second, pass and play it. Um, or you can play solo like I am doing right now and you get some AI players, uh, which is really, really cool. But the graphics are just so fun because you could see everybody walking to the different parts, you know, the different items and things that they collect. And yeah, it's just really nice looking, really, really nice looking. Okay, where am I going to go? I think, let's see. I started any paintings. I have not started any paintings. So I could start the ocean painting. I could start the mountain painting or go to the baths before I go into the inn. There's a lot of ocean paintings. Uh, so I'm actually going to go to the mountain painting first. And that is one of four pieces that I have to collect for my mountain painting. I think I'm going to go there first. Yeah, Kinko's going to go there. I mean, that means I'll be the last person in the inn, but hopefully with two coins, I'll have enough money to eat because the maximum for a meal is three coins. So hopefully that means I'll have enough to eat. All right, Umege is going into the inn first. Uh, and she got some Nagitameshi. Then Kinko is next. They got some noodles. Oh, I'm not last. Oh, Chubei's last. Okay. So I'm going into the inn. What do I get? Oh, I have choices. Uh, so this soup, udon, costs three. The miso shiru costs one. And the taimeshi costs three. So I'm going to get myself some miso shiru. Right? Yeah, it is very pretty graphics. It's very, very pretty. So we completed day one. Now we're on day two. Uh, the game consists over four days. And the goal is to try to have the best vacation. But most, basically most victory points. So all the little, uh, your little carrying bag here in blue is your victory points that you get. So I already have, I already have money in the temple. I already have temple points. And I could see who everyone else has. So Kinko and Umege each have three temple points. So they could go there and, and toss another. But there's a lot of temple stops along the way. So I think I'm actually going to go to the farm and gain some coins here. So Panda, if you're in the chat, let us know um, what time your stream is tonight. I think you said it was 6 p.m. Pacific. Let me do a shout out to Panda. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you're not following Panda, you should be. And we're going to be playing some Fork later on tonight, 6 Pacific, on her channel. Uh, I don't believe there's a night mode on here, Tanji. So I apologize if this is super bright for y'all. I wish there was a night mode. But I think because it's a snowy day on the game that they just have it be listed. So I decided to paint my second part of the mountain painting. And the first person to paint each painting type, and there are three painting types... Uh, we'll get a bonus of three points. So currently, right now, it looks like um, I am tied with Chubei on the mountain painting. And I don't have any of the other paintings going on right now. So, <laughs> Hi, Quaid. Yeah, I decided to give up on... Uh, not give up. I paused again on Theophilus because I got stuck. I, I made it to one of the like palace temple things and there was a boss and I could not get past it. Uh, not only past it, but actually arriving at the boss's lair. So mm -hmm. I kept dying a lot. 
So I think this is gonna it'll be a three week adventure instead of a two week adventure. Oh right, Tangie. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it would look pretty, right? If there is a night mode. Yeah. Okay, so I blocked Chube from getting that mountain painting, so now he's gonna have to go to the oceans. Uh, but I've got some stuff, so let's see. So currently, they're kind of ahead. All three of them are ahead on the hillside painting as well as the ocean painting. Kinko had just passed me up on the temple by putting in another coin ahead of me. And whoever puts the most in at the end of the game will get 10 points. And then second place gets seven. Third place gets four. Um, and I forgot. I think fourth place gets one point at the end of the game. So there's still quite a lot of battles that are happening right now. But you know what? I think I'm going to go shopping. See if I can complete some of my sets. So I need a sushi and a kimono. So I think I'm just going to spend my two. And not worry about starting another set. So I can complete another set. That would be nice. All right, Chube is first in the inn. He's also going to get a encounter because that's his special ability. So it looks like he got some miso. And Umege is also going into the inn. How many coins does Umege have right now? She's got four coins. Oh, man, she could eat. Not a problem. Okay, and then Kinko... Kinko's got three coins, so they can also eat. Not a problem. All right, so I'm going to go in the inn. Hopefully, I can get something for two coins or less. Cool, so I've got some sushi. So we got nigitameshi, some tofu, and some sushi. I'm going to go some old-fashioned sushi rolls. Wow, that's really cool, Quaid. I'm so glad you're enjoying VR. Um, I don't know if that, how I would deal with doing VR stuff. It might make my, <laughs> it might make my headache, uh, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. So friends, I don't have any coins, so I cannot go shopping. So I'm going to go to the encounter and see what good stuff I can get. Oh, it's a samurai. Here's three victory points. So he just straight up gave me victory points. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. All right, Umege is also getting an encounter because she gets a coin and a point. And she was able to get a coin into the temple. Chube went shopping and now Kinko's going to get some coins. The Kinko, Kinko did not need any coins. So they're just being a butt. Yeah, they did not need any coins. Chube's painting some stuff. Omega is going to block me on the mountains. Thanks, Quaid. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to go to the baths. And look, I got monkeys. If you get monkeys in your hot springs, you get bonus points. <laughs> Interpret that how you will. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, I still have no coins, so I cannot go to the temple. So it's back to the farms for me. I'm gonna gain some coins. <laughs> yeah. Omega is also... Oh, she's not getting coins. She's going to an encounter. Yeah, because remember, friends, her special ability is she gets a point and a coin when she gets an encounter. So she wants to go to the pink spots. Chube is just cranking along now. All these things. I'm going to try to go shopping again and see what I can get. Uh, see if I can complete my set here.
Ah, oh, I need a kimono and a fan. Well, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. It'll only cost me a point. Ugh, dang it. I was hoping for some sushi. That's the other symbol that you need for the, uh, to complete your sets. All right, Kinko's in. Umega is in. Uh, next is me. Can I get something for two coins? Let's see, everybody. Yes, I can. So I've got options. I've got some soba. I got some dango, and I've got some misushiru. However, I've already eaten misushiru, so you cannot eat the same meal twice. So I'm gonna go for some dango. And then Chubei's last in the inn. And I don't know if he was able to eat or not. Okay, we are on our final day. I have one coin, friends. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to the temple, everybody. So I get my free coin in and my last coin I had on my person. So now I am tied with Kinko for six coins in the temple. Possible 10 extra bonus points. If you want to here. All right. Umega is just cranking along on these encounters. So you also get bonuses for, you know, if you go to the bathhouse, if you go to the hot springs the most, if you encounter the most stuff, if you shop the most. Uh, so they reward you for things like that, too. It's very point salad in this game. Um, you can basically get points for everything. So I cannot go shopping, unfortunately, because I have no money. But... There is a farm space open for me, so I will get some coins. And so, friends, when I'm finished with this game, I'm going to send you all over onto a ray train. So let me know in the chat who is around that we can go and raid. Okay, so let's see. I can go to the hot springs. I can finish. Do I finish my mountain painting? Ooh, maybe I should finish my mountain painting before Chubei so that way I get the bonus. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I get an extra three points for finishing. Oh, in 10 minutes, you will be on for Hadrian's Wall. Okay. Well, then I will do that. I can, I can faff around for 10 minutes. Why the heck not? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we're getting close, though. We're getting close to the end here. All right. Oh, I can get a free point. A free hillside point. Because that's in the back. And then because I'm already in the back, I get to go again. Boom. Last chance for shopping, everyone. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I need a sushi. What the hey? I need a sushi. Dag nab it. Um. That's just going to give me a point. Yeah, I agree, Gamer It was one it was one of the early ones in our collection too. It was just so pretty. And the really cool thing is that um, I played it one time from someone who grew up in Japan and they were like, wow, this is accurate. Like the the food choices and the location and things like that, um, which made me really happy. So kudos um, 
to the, you know, the publishing team and the designing team to make sure that this was, you know, culturally appropriate. Um, so it was really, really nice. Oh, and look, friends, I only have sushi or donburi to, to spend, but I already ate sushi, so I cannot eat the same thing twice. See, you cannot eat this meal because you've already eaten it during your travels and donburi, so I cannot eat. The computer has hosed me, hosed me out of eating for this final in. What butts they are. And coins don't do really anything except break ties, I think. So, all right, here we go. We're scoring all the bonus things. We're scoring all the bonus things. Uh, let's see. I, Quaid says, I bought this in a store, opened it to play right away, and another player at the table casually mentioned that the collector's edition on Kickst was on Kickstarter. I went home and backed the Kickstarter. I sp essentially bought it twice in one day. Wow. Yeah, right? So, all right, so Chube got bather points, also got shopping points, most encounters. I also got the shopping bonus, and Umege got the shopping bonus. Oh, geez, that we must have all tied. Kinko got the gourmet bonus. They spent the most on food. And I got second in the temple. Oh, they must have snaked me out at the very end, so I think I got... I got last place? No way. I'm usually like super good at this one. So here we go. Here's the breakdown, everybody. So even though I completed, oh, cool, I was still cool. behind on... Yeah, I only was able to spend four on my food. I usually crank it out on food. I usually just go... Oh yeah, good grief indeed, Phantom. Good grief. I usually crank it out on food. Um... So I can be able to uh, get that bonus points. But I was trying really hard on going on shopping and it didn't pay out for me. There was a couple times where I can only buy one thing. So that wasn't uh, very good. But anyway, that is, that is uh, Takedo on Steam. And I will do this here. We can transition back to me. Sorry, friends. And we will close this out. Close all windows. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to Theoph Theophil Theophilus. Um... And see if I can go past that boss. So that way, when you all watch me, so I'll have to extend it for another week. Um, you can all watch me go past that boss area. Jetception. <laughs> I know, for some reason, I could not do a window capture on that game. Um, I can only do like a desktop capture, but either way, it worked. I backed Takedo 2, Najimi. I don't know about Takedo 2. What is Takedo 2? Let me see. Boardgamegeek.com. Takedo. Takedo. Takedo 2? Takedo Duo? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about, Wim? Two players. Is it a two-player game? Takedo 2 Najimi. Takedo 2 Najimi. Oh, no. It's on a... It's currently on Kickstarter. Aha! Okay. Wow! Okay, friends, I'm going to pop this in the chat in case anybody wants to uh, check it out afterwards. Same designer and artist team. 
but not an actual sequel. Okay, so it's a standalone, but in the same universe. Got it. That looks kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. So yeah, friends, uh, so that was today. So hopefully I'll start to get to uh, past the boss on Theophilus and see if I can complete our story. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me today. Uh, later on this evening, I will be on Panda's channel, twitch.tv forward slash panda 8 ngel for some fork by Tate Wu. Uh, we're going to be playing that game because it's currently coming to crowdfunding. And so that's going to be fun tonight. Thank you for giving a shout out to Amanda Panda. Uh, also... Oh, I see. A bit messy, the Kickstarter project. Understood. Similar but distinct mechanics. The same way of taking turns, but it's a circle so you can go around and around, says Quaid, about Takedo 2. Got it. Okay. So, yes, friends, I'm going to be on Panda's, t Panda's channel tonight. And then tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m., I'm going to be on the TLN Twitch channel which is right there in the chat for the pre-show for our monthly marathon, 24 hours of streaming content that's going to be divided up into two days, friends. So there you go. If you have not followed TLN, make sure you do that because the pre-show will be starting there, both on Saturday and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, which is noon 30 Eastern time. And... That would be 6.30 in the evening for all of our friends in like Germany and the Netherlands and stuff like that. So uh, tune in for that because from the TLN Twitch channel, we will raid into our friends and then we will continue on with the marathon. But there on the website, we'll have the full schedule and everything like that. And yes, so be sure to follow them on TLN. I will be on TLN on Sunday in the evening at 8.30 p.m. And you can catch me playing one of the Unlock Escape Room games. I will be playing one from the Mythic Expeditions. Mythic Adventures? Mythic Expeditions? I don't know. It's one of them that it's in like the box of three. Three adventures in one. So I'm going to be playing one of those and I will need your assistance. So that's going to be 8.30 p.m. Uh, on my channel on Sunday. So there we go. Lots of fun stuff happening, friends, on the Twitcher sphere. Yes, Unlock is good because you're able to just go through and put things back in order and you can gift them to someone else. Um I personally like the Exit Game series. I like drawing on stuff and, you know, tearing the box apart and whatever. Um, I like that personally, but I understand the replayability is zero for those games, right? So the replayability for the unlocks is, is fine because you, they're basically just a stack of cards and you put them back in numerical order. Um, uh... For Ravensburger Puzzle Escape Rooms. Oh, I have not done any of those. Um, let me know how they are, Gameritis, because I know you like your puzzles. So, you're not supposed to have the deck in order. Part of the chaos is searching for the cards. No, Quaid. Absolutely not. <laughs> what Gus and I do... Okay, so if you haven't played an unlock game, uh, they come in a deck, right? And then they say... You know, don't shuffle these cards or whatever. Like, some of them are short, like, s sorted out in, in a particular order. However, they do have numbers on the bottom corner of the card that tells you, like, how many, like, this is one of 60 in the deck, right? And then on the back of each of these cards is, like, a number value or a letter or something like that. Um, They're all in a random order. So, yes. So, but the thing is, is that you don't just draw them out and go, okay, this is the next one in it. Like in Deckscape, you're supposed to keep it in that order because as you flip the cards in a Deckscape deck, 
they have them exactly how you're supposed to progress through the story. But in Unlock, they're all randomized, which is frustrating because you're trying to like shuffle through and you're like, I need 47, I need 47. And you're like, three and eight and 14 and 92 and 59. And you're like, wait, where's 47? So yeah, yeah. So Gus and I always sort them out um, in numerical order. And then that kind of helps us when we go through the game. So yeah, he's like, that doesn't work for my analyst mind. Yeah, absolutely not. So, um, but that's just the way I do it. So when I do, when I'm going to be playing on Sunday, friends, I will probably put them in numerical order. And there might not be a 47. See, that's right. So then you know that the answer is incorrect because there's not a 47. So you don't have to waste like those minutes, those crucial minutes trying to find a 47 if there is no 47 you can just look at your pile of you know 40s numbers that start with four and go uh okay i don't see a 47 in here so that's wrong let's let's move on to another thing and so yeah anyway thank you phantom for that looks like book of nerds just went live so we're gonna raid over to him give john all the love uh, he and Amanda Panda are playing Hadrian's Wall. That's a new, uh, game that he just recently got. So it will be fun to, uh, join them in that. Uh <laughs> oh man, Quake. So that's how you and your wife play, huh? You just leave it there. You just leave it there. So I'm assuming you don't sort out your Skittles before eating them either. <laughs> no, probably not. So friends, this has been fantastic. Thank you for joining me this morning for some digital board gaming fun times. I'm going to send you all over to uh, John, aka Book of Nerds. Send him all the love, all the emotes in the chat. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you can use these raid emotes. Otherwise, I always just appreciate the love and the little kitty fetty that is there. Um y'all to use for raiding so yeah so stay tuned for the raid friends and until next time stay safe enjoy your board games be kind to one another and i'll catch y'all on the next stream bye everyone <laughs>